I'm Jessica Speedwell. I'm a physical therapist and the clinical coordinator of Enzer Medical. Today I'm going to give you an overview on how to use your first TX. When you receive your first TX device, your box should include your device and carrying case, a set of batteries, electrode leads, your instructional manuals, and a set of electrode pads. Now I'm going to show you some of the basic functions of the device. The on-off power switch is located on the side. When you slide it up, a beep and a light illuminated will let you know that the device is functioning. The orange button in the center labeled mode helps you select one of the four different functions that you will use during your treatments. We will explain each of the functions later in the instruction. On the upper right hand corner you have the plus and minus buttons which help you adjust the intensity or energy level used during treatment. The intensity indicator LEDs labeled 1 through 5 will tell us two things. First, they will show you the level of intensity as it increases using the plus and minus buttons. And second, they will help us locate the optimum place for treatment The electrodes are located on the back side of the device and should always maintain contact with the skin during treatment. The accessory input is located on the other side of the device and this is where you attach your lead wires where you can plug in electrode pads to be used on an extremity or joint. Finally, your battery compartment is located in the back. Okay, let's get started with the treatment. First, turn the device on. Now what we want to do is set the intensity or energy level for the treatment. I'm going to use my arm as an example. I'm going to say that the area of pain that I have is here. What I'm going to do first is find a spot away from the painful area and apply the device to the skin and make sure that the electrodes are held flat and firm on the skin and then go ahead and press the plus and minus buttons to set the intensity and energy level. The client should feel a tingling sensation and you want that sensation to be strong but comfortable. You do not want to go to the point of pain so you use the plus and minuses to set that comfortable level. Alright, now you've set the intensity or energy level that is comfortable for the individual and now we want to find the optimum location for treatment. There are two ways to do that. First, use a massaging or sweeping motion on and around the area of pain. Make sure that the electrodes maintain flat, firm contact with the skin as you do this. You are looking for areas of redness that might appear and you're, f you're feeling for a stickiness or an area where the electrodes sort of grab the skin and that's due to skin impedance. Redness and that skin impedance indicate a good area for treatment. The second way to determine an optimal location for treatment is to place the electrode on different areas on or around the indicated area of pain and read the lights. You're looking for the number that is illuminated, one through five, as well as the speed at which the light blinks. So, 
there's a two that is lit and it's blinking quickly, a three that is more slowly blinking, and that's a faster blinking three, which out of those three spots, now it's a fast blinking four. That's the optimum location of treatment. And in MT mode, again, you're going to hold the electrode firmly on the skin in that spot and treat it. All right, so we've located our optimum area of treatment, and now I'm going to describe how to administer a treatment. You wanna make sure that the electrodes maintain firm contact on the skin, and you're gonna hold the device in place for 15 to 20 seconds, listening for a chirping sound. That first beep was not the chirp. It could take up to 20 seconds, so let's listen for it. That's the chirping sound, and that indicates that treatment has begun. So right now I'm treating this, the spot, and I'm going to wait until I hear a, a ringing sound, and all four lights on the blue cross will be illuminated to tell me that a treatment has been administered. If you don't hear that chirping sound within 15 to 20 seconds, simply lift the electrode off the skin and place it down again in the exact same spot and start over. A treatment could take up to five minutes, but be patient and maintain contact with the electrode on the skin. That light and that beep is a marker of increments of time and is, does not indicate that the treatment has been administered. That's it. In this segment, I'm going to be referring to the extended guide where we learn about the four different modes of treatment and when and how we use them. Okay, let's start with MT mode, which stands for massage therapy. This mode is used to detect and administer the deep stimulation therapy for areas of generalized pain. Press mode to toggle over to the next function, which is first 72. This is used for acute injuries such as an ankle sprain. You want to apply the device within the first 72 hours after an injury or onset of new pain. PT stands for physical therapy. This mode is used to improve range of motion in a joint in the neck or in the back while reducing pain. Finally, chronic mode is used for treating areas of long-standing and or recurrent pain. So I'm in first 72 mode now because I have a patient here with an ankle sprain. The patient indicated to me that the most painful area is here and we also found that this is the optimum location for treatment 
by looking for redness, skin impedance, and taking readings in our massage therapy mode first. So treatment in this mode can last up to 20 minutes. You want to place the device on the area of pain, making sure that the electrodes are in contact with the skin, and gently sweep and massage on and around the area of pain. I can also stop and hold the device on that spot as well and then return to sweeping and massaging. After two to three minutes you want to reassess the patient's pain and if no change has occurred or relief hasn't happened you can return to the sweeping and brushing treatment. If a change in pain has been obtained before 20 minutes, the treatment is complete. Now we're going to demonstrate PT mode. PT mode should be used for reduction of pain while simultaneously increasing range of motion of a joint. It can be used at the knee, ankle, elbow, shoulder, or in the neck and back areas. What we're first going to do is in massage therapy mode locate the optimum area for treatment. The patient indicated this is the most painful spot. We took our readings, looked for redness and skin impedance in massage therapy mode. Now I'm going to toggle to PT mode and we're going to attach our lead wires and electrodes to administer the treatment. Always turn the device off when you're handling the electrodes because if the intensity is turned up you could get a little shock. So one electrode is placed on the area that was identified as the most painful spot and the, the other pad goes on the other side of the joint. Now I'm going to turn the device on again. Select PT mode. Now with the electrodes in place, I adjust the energy level to the patient's comfort. Can you tell me when? Yes. Okay. Optimum change is achieved by moving the joint through range of motion very slowly for six repetitions. So at this point, slowly move your knee all the way through your full range of motion six times. and six. Good. And what, we knew, what we do now is repeat the exact same steps on the opposite knee. I'm first going to turn off the device while handling the electrodes. Okay, and we'll switch sides. The placement of the pads on the other joint are just about the same as the first knee. Return to PT mode. Adjust the intensity. Okay. And we're going to repeat full range of motion for six repetitions. Slow movement is the key. That six and six. Excellent. Turn the device off because now we have to return to the painful side and once again repeat that same protocol.
Turn the device back on. Make sure you're in PT mode. Turn up the intensity or energy level. Good. And one last time of six repetitions. Slow and controlled. And that's the end of treatment for PT mode. Now we're going to demonstrate chronic mode. Before we do that, as always, we want to start in massage therapy mode to identify the optimum location for treatment. We've done that by looking for redness, skin impedance, by taking readings, and listening to the patient when she points out where the most painful area is. At that point, I toggle to chronic mode and we use the sweeping massaging technique on and around the area of pain. You can also stop and hold over the area of pain for two to three minutes and then alternately sweep and massage again. Typical treatment time in this mode is approximately five minutes. After that you want to reassess the patient's pain and if relief has not been achieved we try the MT mode where we administer the deep stimulation therapy that we learned about previously. We take readings and hold and apply the deep stim therapy. If after attempting that, relief has not been achieved, we're going to try the PT mode and return to sweeping and massaging as well as stopping and holding on the area of pain. If pain relief has not been achieved with this, we can also introduce the first 72 mode. Same technique, massaging, sweeping, or stopping and holding. So treatment in the chronic mode can be more lengthy than the others and we introduce the various modes to get results.